it's time to finally unbox the boxycharm base box of the month of july i actually took a little sneak peek and i am shook with what i received in this box so in other words i think this box is gonna be a hit from just the things i've seen if you guys don't know what boxycharm is i always assume you guys know it's a makeup subscription box that retails now for 28 dollars monthly and it comes with five makeup items full-size items so I always like checking the box because it just prepares me whether to do my eyebrows or not because there's been instances where I don't check and then I just have a brow product and it goes downhill but we're just gonna go ahead and open up the box let you guys see the first online the second glance and the theme card is I don't know it just has bright pink palm trees and it says that is zero zero so I really can't tell the theme of this box but let's just say summer I already checked the box as I said so I know that the first item which I am excited to already grab is a moisturizer because my skin is screaming for help right now I have not moisturized because I wanted to give this lotion a try so my skin just feels super tight and nasty but the first item is this Kate Somerville Goat Milk Moisturizing Cream which retails for $76 dollars i mean it only cost an arm and a leg no but i mean when it comes to lotions i don't mind dropping money when it comes to moisturizers because i feel like they are super important but my moisturizer isn't that expensive and from the looks of it my own moisturizer is a little bit bigger than this this claims let's see what it claims it is clinical tested safe for sensitive skin which i do have sensitive skin i break out in hives for no reason when my skin is irritated and it says gentle enough for all skin types oh my god Ooh, it's so watery and it doesn't i don't think it's scented but it has a scent like there are moisturizers that are non-scented but have a scent if that makes any sense just um for those that are curious my regular moisturizer i go in with is the skin fix barrier peptide cream and i swear this is my go-to i love this it's really thick so with one pump is enough this one is basically more thick a thicker consistency this one is creamier water-based feeling but now for the second item the second item had me a little shook i was not expecting this i think this is not what i picked so i'm not sure what i picked to be honest but the second item is this natasha denona cupid eyeshadow palette which retails for 48 dollars i am so excited that i got another one of her palettes that's what i like about boxycharm i don't know why i get so excited when it's natasha denona's eyeshadows uh, it, it's, it's just neutral a little neutral moment it's pretty natural if i'm not wrong this is more of a deep burgundy pink i think what i'm gonna go with is a cut crease so i could use another item that's in the box but let me not spoil it but i'm gonna go in with clove and put that all over my crease I'm looking a little bit crazy, but I swear when it comes to eyeshadows, you always have to trust the process. But I went in, I cut my crease. I'm doing like a wing kind of cut crease. And now I'm going to go in with the shade Shell, which is this nude right here. Oh my god, this shade is so beautiful because it looks like a nude, but it's more of a pink nude no wonder it's called cupid eyeshadow it's just clicking in my head right now because i'm like this looks like such a valentine kind of look like i would wear this on a date now same thing with the other side just going to lightly pack now that the shadow is not complete but almost there the third item is this beauty crap liquid eyeshadow duo which retails for $18 and it's basically a dual ended long wearing liquid eyeshadow one side is matte and the other side is glittery so this is where I wanted to use the glittery side because I don't think I will go ahead and use the matte one right now but I do want to add glitter as um, eyeliner I don't know if I want to do it as eyeliner or put it on the cut crease and wing it out so we're gonna see what tickles my pickle the shade is fudge the one i'm gonna use the other side is cinnamon 
I am like struggling to open it, so I'm stalling. I use my teeth. The Beauty Crab logo is it a Boxy Charm brand? It looks literally like the Boxy Charm logo. Um, I don't know. Give me a moment. I'm having technical difficulties. More like makeup difficulties. <gasps> that was not funny. Finally, after like five minutes. Oh, so I think I'm going to go in and use it as eyeliner because I don't think it's going to look good because it's a little bit more orangey. Either way, I do want to swatch the mate side onto my hand. This is giving me um Danessa Marcus pigment vibes. I would also use this as blush. You know what? I'm going to just go with it and put it as eyeliner. I mean, it's a base box, boxy charm look, so I might as well just risk it. I'm a little bit irritated because I don't like how this look turned out. My lashes are overpowering and I don't want to take them off. But um, since the lashes are a little bit dramatic, it covered up the liner. But now for the fourth item, finally, because I feel like I've been at this eyeshadow for the longest because I was not satisfied. The following product is this jacka black glow drops which retails for 20 dollars and it's just a um glow i guess that goes under your base so you put this on and then put on your foundation skin tints whatever you use it's basically a highlighting primer for the face i am scared that it's gonna leave me really shiny but we're gonna go ahead and just try it out it is the shade rose pearl if i'm not wrong and it's vegan friendly and cruelty free so we love that oh my god i am uh, <laughs> annoyed like i am having one of those days where you just annoy with the makeup and that is me right now ah uh, if you squeeze it lightly a lot of product comes out so be careful with this one. It's really watery too. Oh my god. I feel like it's picking up on all the texture I have on my face. This is the way it sets. I don't think I have to wait much. So I'm going to go ahead and start applying my skin tint. And then move on to the final and fifth product. Which is like a 3 in 1. So I am excited for that. By the way, the product I've been using. I just noticed I did not prime my face at all. But the base I've been using is the Fenty Skin Tint and I am loving how it sets. Now for the final item which is this Alley of Stack the Odds which retails for $38. Basically it's a stackable compact that comes with blush, bronzer, and highlighter. I got the shade Sun Kiss but I am interested to see how this looks i think this is gonna remind me of the mel cosmetics stackable eyeshadow palettes and i think it is exactly that oh no it's a little bit different oh i love that ali oops items are always baby blue Ooh, okay i'm gonna go in with the bronzer and it also comes with a little mirror which in reality I won't be using this like I can't even see my whole face not a good mirror I love the idea but not execute it correctly I love that the bronzer is cool tone I honestly don't think I'm gonna put highlighter. I'm gonna just go ahead and start powdering my face because I feel like I am sweaty. I don't know if it's the highlighter making me like delusional and think it's sweat, but I am hot. So I'm gonna go ahead and start just powdering my face. This is the completed look. It's not so bad now that it's all put together, but it's just not my favorite eyeshadow look and we'll get to that right now so now we're gonna go ahead and go through every single product and i'm gonna give you guys what i think about them so the first item was the lotion to be honest i don't think it's bad i will be using it so i'll probably end up using this more like a everyday morning cream than the heavy thick cream i typically use i'll use it for nights since it's really thick and now for the second item which was the natasha denona eyeshadow palette 
we already know we love it i love the shadows they are pigmented really easy to blend buildable blendable you can blend them away or you can build it up and it's just amazing then the third item was the highlighter base primer oh, i'm like trying to look at myself in the mirror i feel like i do look highlighted but i feel like i took it away by putting my powder on because i really don't like the highlighted look hence the reason why i didn't put the highlighter because i did skip the highlighter with the ali oop compactable stackable thing so this is just something that i won't be using i actually skipped an item i went straight to the highlighter base but the following item after the natasha denona i used this compact eyeshadow i didn't really get to use the matte shade but when it comes to the glitter part it's just not that buildable so i feel like that's why you can't really see it the oh look my eyeliner is right there i'm like trying to put my lashes down so you guys could see the eyeliner is there right but it's not really buildable it's not that like vibrant like oh my god even without the eyelashes i wasn't like amazed um i tried building it up and it's just hard because it gets so watery and it just it just like looks see-through so that's the thing i didn't like about the glitter part so to be honest i won't be using the glitter part but i will be using the matte shade because i like using cream based shadows when it comes to my everyday makeup look because i just throw on a base um blend it out with my finger and call it a day it's so easy to do then the fourth item was the um was it the fourth item oh no the last item was the stackable thing from Ali Oop, it comes the bronzer, blush, and highlighter. Okay, so I did not use the highlighter part because I told you I'm not a big fan of highlighter. It's just my personal preference. But bronzer, I loved. I loved that the bronzer was a cool tone bronzer. I am such a sucker for cool tone um, bronzers. The blush, I loved as well. The highlighter, I'm not going to be using. The only downside to this compact is cream base, right? So I feel like it could get messy when it comes to using brushes. Because if you guys can tell, I did create a little mess. So you just... It's gonna be like annoying to clean it up but besides that i like this item basically my box was uh it was an okay box i thought it was gonna be like a wow but i love the eyeshadow palette i love the moisturizer and i love the eh, eh, i think that's it i kind of like the two compact the bronzer and the blush so it was like a it was in, in between box but it passes so that's it for this unboxing if you guys are curious to see like a close-up of my face this is how my face looks like let me look down so you guys can see the shadow i told you i was struggling with the eyeshadow because i wanted to make a look but then it wasn't working out because of the ah because of the pigment of the eyeshadow duo and then i tried doing it with the eyeshadow and it just looked messy so i was just like annoyed and over it so i just covered it up cleaned it up but that's a close-up i'm like rambling but that's it for this video if you guys enjoyed it please give it a like subscribe for more content and thank you for watching and supporting bye